Hi friend, hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm trying to discuss on theoretical and conceptual framework for the study. Before talking about the differences between theoretical and conceptual framework, let us discuss with an example. I have conducted a study on the topic relationship between head teacher leadership attributes and school climate. And after completing my literature review, I tried to develop a conceptual framework. If we see the study topic, uh, we can uh, find the variables like head teacher leadership attributes, head teacher leadership at attributes, which is the independent in nature and school climate, that is another variable which is dependent in nature. After completing my literature review, I got so many constructs related to head teacher leadership attributes like universal attributes, transformative attributes, and benevolence attributes. Under the universal attributes, uh, there, there are so many variables like uh, respectfulness, humbleness, fairness, cooperativeness, and compassion. And in the case of transformative attributes, there were so many variables like courage, passion, wisdom, competencies, and self-discipline. And in the case of benevolence attributes, there were so many variables like loyalty, selflessness, integrity, and honesty. All together, there were different 14 variables under these three specific attributes universal, transformative, and benevolence. And I tried to find the association between those variables, which is related to head teacher leadership attributes with the school climate constructs. There were five different constructs of school climate, school safety, teaching and learning, interpersonal relationship, participatory and resourceful environment and teacher, head teacher and staff only. The entire research was guided by two specific theories. The first theory was related to holistic leadership and the second one that was related to theory of our national climate. After completing the study on the basis of this conceptual framework, I tried to develop a theoretical model on the basis of my finding. Out of 14 variables which I had discussed, only six variables of head teacher leadership attributes, competency, respectfulness, humbleness, integrity, compassion, and fairness had the predictive relationship with the school climate constructs. And as a whole, there was the positive correlation between head teacher leadership attribute and school climate. And this is the outcome of the study and it acts as a theoretical model or framework. So on the basis of the conceptual model, I conducted a study and I tried to develop this sort of theoretical model. Now, on the basis of these two models, I tried to discuss the differences between theoretical and conceptual model. Actually, what is theoretical framework and what is conceptual framework? While talking about theoretical framework, it provides a general or broader set of idea within which a study belongs. And in the case of conceptual framework, it refers to a specific or narrower idea a researcher utilizes in his or her study. So the theoretical framework, it is based on existing theory or theories in the literature, which has been tested and validated by other scholars. And in the case of conceptual framework, it is based on the concept, which are the main variables in a study. Regarding theoretical framework, we can say it is a, it is in the form of model that pivots a study, that guides a study with its exponents and the results of their studies. And in the case of conceptual framework, 
it is researchers own constructed model that she uses to explain the relationship that exists between the main variables in his or her study. Likewise, the theoretical framework is well developed, designed and accepted, but the conceptual framework, its design is not accepted, but it is the proposal of the researcher's answer to the research problem is she has defined. And we can say theoretical framework, which is used to test theories, to predict and control the situation within a context of a research inquiry. While in the other hand, the conceptual framework, which aimed at encouraging the development of a theory that would be useful to practitioners in the field. In this way, we can find the differences between theoretical framework and conceptual framework. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you will provide the constructive feedback for the improvement.